Hey guys, it's Cooper and Jace here, and we're on the set of Henry Danger. Henry Danger. We're shooting the very final episode today. The Henry Danger Run Through! Yeah! This is indeed the final run through of Henry Danger. What? I know, so not sorry, sorry to break the news. We've had 128 shows. That means we've done approximately, give or take, 256 run-throughs. Think about that. There's a lot of moving parts. We've got the actors, we got the director, we got props running back and forth. We make this thing look as good as it can. And let me tell you something, everybody. We rock the ball, baby! Yeah! Put in some late hours. Some late hours, some some 16 hour days, some yep. 20 hour um, days, I've been eating some 35 hour days too. We're actually um, freezing time I so we get more. I haven't slept in four days. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I should really? start the like Henry Danger reality show. Like keeping up with the dangers, like do interviews. Get frame clearance for the camera. So you're gonna be holding that for nine hours. You're only 13 when you took that oath. You didn't know what you were getting into. Sorry, hey, hey, okay. Shot. Just a little higher. Just a little. Jace, you're doing great, but just a little higher with the boom. You didn't know what you were getting into. You didn't sign up for this. I did. Listen, you're only, you're only 13 when you took that oath. You didn't know what you're getting into. I'm sorry, I can't. I mean, you don't even need to speak English to like this show. Honestly, you just need to look at it and just see these reactions and see this eye contact. Look at that. Just turn the do a little test. Turn your phone. Millions or your of dollars. Device or your TV. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. What, what else you want? What else you want? What else? What else do what you, you need? What do you, what, do you, what do you need? You should watch it with a volume on though. <laughs> It's funny that way. Here we go. So things are really chaotic here. Lots of alarms and action. Henry? Oh. Are you going down with the blimp? Uh, I think so, yeah. We always have kids come on set and watch our Wednesday run-throughs, so that's always nice to meet these kids. And a lot of the kids like are family or friends of people who work here, so it's just super cool to see how it's impacting other people. With fans over the years, there have been just so many good experiences. Made me really appreciate. And a big underground explosion. <laughs> Ugh. Right, come on! Things what? start blowing up. Ugh. We picked her up and Henry! sparked her showering down. Smoke her down. I think what makes Henry Danger different from other shows is just the um, the family we have. I think it kind of shows on screen that we all are best friends and we love each other and we have fun. I think it really does translate. Much like the time that it took Henry to eventually graduate, it took us a little bit to put this memento together for you guys. Da, 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 da. Oh, the big drawing. They're all one of a kind, everybody. One, one, one of a kind. I think what Henry Danger will forever be known by is the cast. Yes. I mean, we have laughed, we have cried, we have hugged, we have supported. That, I think, is what defines us. And I think, in the end, it's what you guys and all of us will always be proud of. It's the story that we're all going to tell. All right? So here's to us, everybody. Henry Danger, everybody. The chemistry of our cast is something that's so special and that I'll, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. I mean, just the sense of humor, the writing, it makes it a really special experience for us as the actors, and I think that translates to the audience. Dave Norman, Cooper Barnes, Pierre Downs, Sean Ryan Scott, Ella Anderson, Michael Cohen, When I got the call that I got the show, I was doing homework, and they said you got it. And I was honestly, I already knew I was gonna get it because I killed that audition. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but bad. but I remember distinctively thinking like my life's about to change. Like I just had this weird feeling that it just felt like wow, this is really really big. I never felt anything like it. Like it was really cool. When I got the call that I uh, booked Terry Danger, I think I was just at home doing homework after school, and I was excited. I was excited to get to work and have fun on the show. I was actually in LA when I got the call, which was crazy because I live in. Toronto and I remember getting the call in my hotel room and just being scared because you know it's a lot of pressure you want to do well and you want the show to do well but I was also just really excited for the opportunity and to get to work with other people and to come out and live here because it's definitely warmer so yeah. Oh, I remember exactly where I was when I got the call. Things were not as great as they are now. I, I think I did five auditions for Captain Man. I did a lot too and I, I think it wasn't until the last one that I met you. Getting this job was like like those guys are at death row and they get a call from the governor <laughs> right before they get to flip the switch. I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> Pretty similar yeah. to that. Oh, uh, it was just like that. Uh, <laughs> so we're not worrying about anything nah. anymore. Everything's coming up. <laughs> Cooper and Jace. Everything's good. I got a run to an audition, but... Uh... <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> A, B, and C, Mark. That blonde guy must be Drex. Yeah. Drex Stinklebum. Who are you? Name's Bose. Drex took me hostage. You guys hostages too? No. Oh. Do you want to be? I could put in a good word for you. <laughs> so basically, it's the first time where we're all together, and they we're hiding. The three of them are hiding behind like a few cans in this blimp hanger, and then I sneak up behind them and I ask if I can help them try and take down the villain Drex. Captain Man, I don't know how you can made you it. A second. <laughs> Thought we told you kids to go home. There was no one idea happened. what to do. I'm a hostage. Well, I'm mad. Sorry. But also glad Yay. that you'll be here to watch us destroy Drex. We try and fight him, and then we help Kid Danger put back together the Omega weapon because it was broken, and I'm all over the place. But <laughs> we right. we help him put it back together, and then we all have to hold in these tubes. We become and blacksmiths and put the Omega weapon back together. <laughs> How are you going to do that? I'm indestructible too, remember? Well, I was going to start by distracting you. Distracting me from what? From this. Omega. Now, kid! Everyone's kind of catching on to like, after six years of doing this, this is the last time that like, everyone will maybe be together. It's sad to think about yeah. even for us, since like, we're moving on. But it, uh. it was always ending. Yeah. So it was yeah. not more of taking the spot. I guess it's more of filling the hole. Yeah. Is Take, the, yeah. Say it? Taking the spot would have been Continuing like, on yeah. like yeah. the legacy yeah. there you of go. Henry Danger. Well, for me, growing up was just like pretty strange, but it's the only, only reality I know. Where are you gonna be this time? Way to say it. Not Thanks for hiring me. It was mostly this guy, honestly. I mean, this guy kind of kept me sane and, and kept me laughing and showed me how to have fun. Oh, here it comes. What? Right there. Oh. Right there. Oh. Yeah, this counts. This counts as flying. Without him, I probably would not be able to do the show because it'd be, I would just be so like, the fun would be gone, you know? As soon as that magic's gone, there's no point. One more foot on each. Oh. oh let's go, come on, let's go higher. But the quality starts to show when you're not having a good time. And one of the reasons why the show's a success is we did have a good time. We have fun on set. Ray and Henry, you guys have a visual on Drex? Yeah, I got eyes on him right now. I'll have fists on him in 10 seconds. Hey, kid! Still mad at you for wanting to leave 12 years. I know, dude. I know. <laughs> it's, it's tough, and there have been some times where it's very arduous and really hard, but through it all, like, it has been fun. I'm gonna go get this mask off. That was a good time. Oh, last time. Ah, oh, hey, you guess what, everybody? A series wrap to the mask, mask? and the outfit <laughs> of the danger. <laughs> Honestly, like the coolest part about being Kid Danger is that when you go on the street, people like are like, wow, like you're Kid Danger. I'm going to take off my mask for the last time and uh, feels pretty good. Feels like a uh, responsibility, a weight of me is, it's, it's hard to explain. Seeing that love of the show. You know, Cause when you're in the studio, you're shooting yeah. it and you're having fun shooting it. But then when yeah. you see somebody who's connected to the show that you've never met before, it's like the most magical thing because it's like, wow, like you're really doing something that this person loves. And that's makes it worth it. Right here. All right, can we cut the, can we cut the camera? All right, guys, this is the final scene of Henry Danger. It is a, I can't really actually say what it is because it's a big, big spoiler, but I'm all dressed up for it. So I'm shooting the last scene and I'm about to walk out of this set. And with that, I will be done with this show. And that's kind of weird. I don't even know how I feel about it. It's just all happening at once. All cameras, come and mark. Peace. And I cannot stress this enough, snitches. <laughs> Maybe I should have made her my sidekick. <laughs> she never would have taken the job. No, yeah, I was a good actor for her. So, you gonna tell him or ghost him? Uh, give me a sec. It's a dramatic ending. It's also gonna be, of course, very funny because that's what we do around here. Because we're hilarious. I wrap up my story and Kid Danger and Henry are kind of two different people in a way. Yeah, there's and, a dichotomy there for sure. And um, they both have, one has a more dramatic ending than the other, but uh, they both have a really nice ending. Hey, look, uh, before you go, there's uh, something I've always wanted to tell you. And uh, it's that easy for me to say. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, oh, they're revealing our statues. What? Wait. What, what, what were you gonna say? Man, my statue's gonna look so much better than yours. Wow. 
I think the one thing I'm gonna miss about working on Hair Danger is Cooper's jokes. He grew up, uh, you know, around the 80s and 90s, and he's got a lot of references, and they're funny to hear every time he spits one out. It's, it's, he probably has a new one every week, and it's, it's so much fun. Well, we're getting to be about that time. So, that completes the series for four incredible actors. First up, Michael Cohen, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Michael, come on in. Uh, what I'm gonna miss the most, obviously, Jace, Sean, Riel, Ella, hands down. That's that's what I'm gonna miss the most. I'm, I'm gonna miss the man cave. I am gonna miss the man cave. I mean, I built it. Nobody funnier with the bits and his acting talent only eclipsed by what an extraordinary, extraordinary man that you are. And we love you, Michael. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is a series wrap on Mr. Michael B. Cohen. I have really mixed feelings about this being the last episode. But yeah, like I'm close to everybody in the cast in a different way. Like they're all, we all have different kinds of relationships and I'm just, I'm gonna miss them a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Saw Ryan Fox, everybody, yeah! Well, there is no actor out here that has grown into such an awesome talent. Part of Jasper's character is friendship loyalty to Henry. That's his best friend. The only way you can do that is to be that kind of person. Sean Ryan Fox is one of the most loyal, nicest guys I know. That is a series wrap on Sean Ryan Fox. The next is Miss Ella Anderson, everybody. Ella. For all you parents in the room, the baby of the family is the one you cling to the most, right? We still got our Ella, who started the show when she was eight years old. Eight years old, this little girl came in with a smile beaming this big. And I can't say how proud we have all been watching you go from that little baby to the incredible young woman that you are. And we cannot wait to see what's next and where you go from here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a series wrap on Miss Ella Anderson. even like imagine a better way of having spent these past years of my life and sort of growing up with you incredible people. I don't even know what to say. Like there's no words to describe that. And uh, like, yeah, I don't even know, but I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. You know what it, you're in the box. Ah, it's overwhelming. In when, um, <laughs> when season one started, this incredible young lady walks in with this huge smile. I mean polite, smart, nice, kind. So please everybody, that is a series wrap on Miss Real Some things I've learned about myself through the years, I guess how to apply myself, for sure I've learned that. I mean, this was like my whole high school experience, so how to apply myself in terms of school, schooling on set, and to apply myself in terms of the show and just really drill down on those lines and you know create moments and really figure out who Charlotte is. And I don't, I don't even know what else to say. It's just been an honor getting to know like everyone in this room and it's been like the best experience, so thank you. I'll honestly miss a lot when I'm not working on the show. It's kind of hard to process right now and to think about because I'm still in it. It's like, we've been here for like six years. It doesn't really feel like it's gonna end, but I'm gonna miss everything, I guess. <laughs> like all the people that I get to interact with on a daily and obviously the cast and crew and, and just getting to get up, come here, have a purpose, fulfill that purpose and leave. Cooper Barnes, what he didn't know at the time that he was going to adopt four kids. And he made sure that from day one, that this was the place to be. Every day on the set, making sure that they were okay. To play a hero, that's not acting. You have to be a hero. You're a hero, man. That's a serious rap. Like Cooper Barnes. The fans really make this all worthwhile on the hard days. Just reminded me like how important the show is. Yeah, because for of them it's like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and, and we and don't see we don't see like how it affects people that often. The only way that you look like a superhero is with the help of a lot of people. Props, costumes, hair, makeup, literally people putting you into the suit. Stunt people to take the big hits for you, to make you look legit. And I also learned that um, when you are a superhero and you have a sidekick, 
It's a very, very uh, unique relationship that you can't fully understand until you've had one. So I think, I think you know how I feel about you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think you all know how I feel about you. This has been a wild ride, thank you. Jason Norman came in, 13-year-old kid, number one on the call sheet. So by definition, he was our leader. I'm sorry, it's just, uh, it's an extraordinary thing to watch people that you invest in so much and you watch them grow. And we use terms like family. You cannot be remiss and not acknowledge that what we do here is our family. You're our number one. You'll always be our number one. We love you, man. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a series wrap on Mr. Jace Norman. I'm gonna miss the crew. I'm gonna miss the the people that I basically grew up with. I mean, these faces I see every day, you know, and like they know me so well and I know them so well. You ever get to know somebody so well, you don't even have to talk when you're around them. It's just like, you just know, like, you just know. And, uh, and I'm gonna miss that. I've been trying to think of what to say, but when you're, spend six years and what we, when you've done what we've done, there really isn't much to say. This has always been my dream. Literally, this is like not even real. Like when I was five years old, I was watching TV and thinking that's what I want to do. And it's now I'm here and, and it's thanks to you guys and you'll always be a part of my soul and Henry Danger will always be a part of my identity. This is magic in a bottle and I'm just glad I can be a part of it. Thank you guys. Yes. Thanks for watching and being a part of the last five seasons. Don't miss the final episode of Henry Danger.